don't really care to be honest. Um, right, so people want to know what we thought of the division beta. Don't I will play. start with you've already spoiled it, but I'll start with what you thought of the division beta. We pro- I probably should have given you a go real quick, but it's all right. Mm. What are you, what are your thoughts on the division beta? Well, it's twenty six gigabytes, and I'm not fucking downloading that to play a game for three days. They can get <laughs> fucked. Like, Fair enough. I got the Hitman beta. That was three gigs. Was that? Yeah. So it wasn't that big. Fuck, I probably should have But it wasn't it. open. It was uh, a closed beta. Uh, I got a code. Of course. I never yeah. got a code. That's right. I don't want one. So that's okay. what I understand about betas. If it, uh, betas... Okay, this is the nail in the coffin for betas as demos. Hmm. I've been saying this for years. It's 2016. If you are a multiplayer game developer and you do not know how service stress works by now and you're like, oh, we just need to test it. Look for a new line of work. I'm not accepting that excuse for betas anymore. Mm. Second thing is I've completely forgot what the second thing was, but I'm going to try and remember it as I deliver this monologue because, God damn it, it was probably a great point. Fuck. Oh, and closed betas. Why do a closed beta mm. if, you're tr- if you're stress testing servers? Yeah. D- let everyone play it. Are they that afraid that half the people that play it are going to find it shit? I don't understand closed betas. Or is that like, oh, they're playing a the closed beta. They must be cool. Because it's not. Hmm. Get right. a closed then, alpha, then I think you're cool. And then you go and actually look, and like people who upload videos of it onto YouTube, they get a lot of hits. To jump, and people are just watching them play, mm. and the streams. Oh, I'm streaming a beta, guys. Well, why the fuck do they have to put stress on Twitch's servers? <laughs> Fucking EA, get your shit together. Activision, <laughs> do they, Activision doesn't have that many. Activision has like Call of Duty, and that's it. And Skylanders. They don't need yeah. to fucking do anything ever again. They're set. Gun oh, well, 2 would be nice. Hmm? Gun 2. Oh, well, they have a whole bunch of fucking IPs like SpongeBob. Like, they own all the Nickelodeons. Like, if there's a game coming from a Nickelodeon franchise, it has to go through them. So, that's a big chunk of money just by making shit games. Yeah. And then iPhone games. And that's a lot of money. No, oh, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I've played it. I thought it was fun. But I can see that it getting very tedious and boring. Is there anything like... Like, because I imagine that with the way that it's set out, is it like Destiny? Sort of, like you yeah. get in teams like that? Yeah, kind of. From a third-person perspective. Um, did you have... Oh, no. No one ever played that game. Um, I don't know. It's weird, man. It's like... It's like, just like a third-person MMO with guns. Hmm. Is there, I like, are there a lot of people on the street? No, there's no one on the street. So I don't know if like there's people in the game as you're playing. I yeah, don't think so there it's is. like Destiny. No, I don't because I never saw another person in my game. I had to like initiate the go into the so there's a PvP P you hmm. player versus player section that you have to go in. There's heaps of people in there, but like in my world, there was no one. So I don't know if that was just me. Or you have to, like, the missions, you have to start them as kind of, like... Isn't there something, the dark zone? Yeah, that was the PvP thing. Okay. So, I'm not sure how this works. I haven't really researched it. I just played it. I've already smashed it or beat the beta. You can beat the beta, by the way. That's weird. Mm. Um, so, I've already done all that. But yeah. I never saw another player. So, I don't know if you have to initiate some, like, oh, I'm hosting this mission kind of thing. Because mm. you can do it by yourself. Um, I wouldn't recommend it because it's a pain in the ass. But, like, it's pretty fun. Like if other if people get it, I'll probably get it to play with them. But I not don't get it to play by yourself. Mm. Far Cry though, I'm interested. I hate to admit, yeah. But cause that's because there's jack shit fucking coming out, and I'm bored. Mm. So um, yeah. it's until April. April is when shit kind of picks up. Mm. But I'm more excited. Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess HD oh, with Wolf Link amiibo. With what? A amiibo of Wolf Link packed in. And they're trying to hide now that all Wii U games are $10 extra in Australia because they hiked up the price and they haven't really explained why. And it started with Devil's Third. So go and make like the worst game that you possibly (laughs) have coming out and make that the point that you start increasing prices for games. So with Twilight Princess, they're bundling in Amiibo, which if you had bought the game separately back... Would have been cheaper to buy the game separately and the amiibo. Oh fuck! But they're bundling together so that <laughs> you have to pay a hundred dollars. Oh fuck that! Mm. For a remake, yeah. Of which generation was this game on? Wii. Now nah, fuck that. Mm. That's bullshit. 
I went when I was in JB Hi-Fi the other day. I looked at the Nintendo thing for shits and giggles, and I'm looking at the wall. And I'm like, holy fuck! I didn't realize how many f- Amiibos they made. Now they got Animal Crossing ones. They got mm. fucking like no. I don't no, get it. There's 200 Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. So what's an Amiibo card? It's just a card that has um, like the NFC shit built in. So you don't actually get the physical Amiibo. You don't have like a toy. It's just a picture on a card, and you put it on the pad. And it goes in the game. Which kind of defeats the point, because the only reason I buy any Amiibos is just to be like, oh, yeah, I have a Samus now. <laughs> because the only other time you could buy a Samus was $80 or something. Yeah. I mean, they're a cool collectible, but, like, fuck. Mm. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know what we're talking about there, the Division Beta. All right, so finally, unless anyone's got some other shit they want to throw in, should Aaron get a new television or a PlayStation VR? I'm going to throw my... Ah, oh, fuck off. Who's ringing now? Fuck's sake. I think I might have the wrong number. How have you lived this long and not known how to fucking use a telephone? Right, so the phone rang again, just as we're getting into our most interesting topic that probably no one's still watching for, but anyway, we'll get into it. Should Aaron get a new television or a new PlayStation VR? Gonna throw my hat into the ring. Is that the saying? Yeah. First. Um, I think he should get both. Oh, yeah, so with my infinite pile of money <laughs> that I have... No, but see, I for my own selfish reasons, I'd like you to get the PlayStation VR because I'm not going to get it and I would like to play it. But yeah. I think you'd be better off with a better, a good, a new TV. Because mm. when I originally thought, oh, I might get a PSVR, I thought because at the same time, it will be cheaper, cheaper than an Oculus Rift and it will be more than likely that some smart dudes will be able to make it so that you can use it on PC. All right. Because PC, it's, like, open. Yeah. But then I realised that it'll probably use that weird fucking jack at the back of the PS4. That the only thing that uses it right now is a PS camera. Yeah. So, like, if it had done it with USBs, it would have been fine. Because I think it'll run... It, like, the power will, will be external. Yeah. Oculus Rift runs all the power through the PC, as far oh, as shit. I'm aware. And it needs six USB points. Six? Three have to be USB 3.0. Fucking hell. Yeah, I know. It's it's weird. Is there an option to have it externally powered? Like maybe, I have no idea. It Fuck just hell. says that you need to have this many USB ports. That's so crazy. Maybe you could plug one USB port into one that you have externally. Oh yeah. It? Yeah, because you could run power ones off anything. Yeah. Right. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, with the new TV or PSVR, you know, PSVR, that's great for PlayStation 4. Yeah. Never be able to use it on Wii U or Nintendo NX. Yeah. So, I think the new TV is a better investment. Mm. That's my... Because what TV have you got at the moment? Audis. Out of C? Well, I, good? I have a 10-year-old LG TV. Yeah. And that's fucking beautiful. And I have that upstairs in my room. But then the room that I have my PS4 connected to, because unlike you, I have to live with brothers and I should get my own place but the minute I move he's gonna fucking lose his shit because how am I gonna play a card Aaron <laughs> I get to buy my own PS4 <laughs> I've been yelling at my friends to buy PS4s for years and and then I won't even have one fucking it's not even that expensive 400 bucks TVs on the other hand a good one costs a thousand yeah like I went into JB the other day you can tell the difference between a fucking 50 hertz TV, 100 hertz TV, and a 200 hertz TV. Oh, big time. Yeah. Like, the 50 hertz TV looks fucking terrible. But yeah. the TV I've connected to the PS4 mm. is an Audi's TV yeah. that must be like 20 hertz. <laughs> Which isn't a thing, but it looks so fucking bad. Mm. And, like, you move and there's like a trail behind you. And, <laughs> oh, it's... Uh, no. I oh, know. Well, that's the problem because if you're going to spend that money, you might as well get a good one. Mm. Like the one behind me is Samsung and that's 200 hertz. But the prob- the issue with all that shit is that the games can't run very well on TV like that. So, you have to put it in game mode, which downgrades the graphical quality anyway. Mm. Not by much, which is why the Xbox One is actually a great tool. Like if you have one... Go into the settings and go video settings and you can calibrate it. It'll walk you through the steps, which is priceless. Because you really need to do that. Um, but I don't know. I'd recommend a new TV. Hmm. What size? 
At least 40 inches. At least 40. Right. Yeah. I'll probably end up getting like 55 inch. Yeah. I think that one's 55 inch. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. A lot of them have come down in price, I think. I yeah. don't know what brand I'd recommend though. I'd LG is supposed to make... Like I bought a TV for dad two yeah. years ago. I put in some of my money, he gave me some of his money, and he's like, go buy me a TV. And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck TVs do. So I went and did all the research. TVs haven't gone down in price that much. No? No. Like, you still have the 200 hertz and the 100 hertz, and that's still the same price. Oh, okay. 50 hertz has kind of gone down. Yeah. But it's 50 hertz. Oh, right. So yeah. it's fucking terrible. All right. Or what do you think? Should Aaron get a new television or a new PlayStation VR? I'm leaning TV, but I would like you to get both so I could play the VR because I'm not. There's no chance in hell. I haven't ever had a VR experience yet. That's what she said. That is what she said. Um, so, have you got anything else you would like to talk about? Uh, my my cool shirt. Rick and See, it says Tiny Rick, and it's Tiny Rick from Rick and Morty, and um, it's him doing the pose from Super Mario Brothers free box art. Very cool. I've just got Shaun of the Dead. T Fury. Yeah, like every fucking day. Yeah, yeah. It's not every day. It's most days because it's kind of like it's a, it's not an outside rotation shirt anymore. It's just your pajamas. It's kind of like yeah, I wear it inside. Mm. It's kind of old and it's stained because I had to spill food everywhere. Um, so that's it. Yeah. All right. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, rate, comment, and subscribe. We're out. Yep. <laughs> Bye. Rate, comment, and subscribe. This guy. Wait. Do you want to do any? No, I'm not going to do anything else. We you can cut all that out. You're not going to do any um magic. Just go subscribe or go tweet. No. I no. don't give a shit if people follow me. Follow Aaron. Don't.